Habitats Explored, Episode 2, Sandy and Rocky Shores. Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me, Victoria. Today I'm going to be talking about sandy and rocky shores. So let's start by establishing what a sandy shore is. A sandy shore is a coast with loose deposits of sand gravel or shells, sediment, that covers the shoreline in many places. Sand is formed through the gradual, gradual erosion of rocks and minerals, as well as shells that are constantly being battered by the sea, breaking them down into tiny, tiny particles. Sediment can be carried from other areas along water currents and then deposited. This is known as sedimentation. Sand can be fine or thicker and a number of different colours depending on what the sand is made up of. The type of sand that one sees at a beach is influenced by the rocks surrounding the beach as well as the ocean currents. Sand is commonly made from mineral quartz and feldspar, coming from metamorphic or igneous rock. Both quartz and feldspar create light brown sand. If iron oxide is present, the sand will be browner. In some places with extreme high levels of iron oxide, the sand can even become red. White sand beaches are created from shells, coral and white quartz. Black sand beaches are created from lava stone being broken down into sand. They are found in places with volcanoes. There are only four green beaches in the world in Norway, Ecuador, Guam and Hawaii. These are created by olivine crystals, a silicate material containing iron and magnesium. Other sand colours include pink, orange, purple, all influenced by different local minerals. Sandy shores have a lower level of biodiversity than rocky shores due to the unstable sediment. The fine particles can easily be moved by winds and tides. Sand does not provide a suitable substrate for seaweeds to attach onto. On the other hand, rocky shores are very stable and can support a variety of marine life. So, what are rocky shores? Rocky shores are areas of coast where solid rock dominates. These develop where erosion is greater than deposition. Different sizes of boulders, rocks and pebbles are produced by outcrops of rocks that are exposed to the sea. Different rocks are more prone or less prone to weathering and erosion. So some break down easier than others. Granite is hard to break down, whereas sandstone is relatively easy to break down. Environmental factors influence the ecological communities on the rock shore. The large rocks provide a relatively firm and stable substrate suitable for seaweeds to attach themselves onto, as well as mollusks and cnidarians such as sea anemones. Rock pools can be quite common on rocky shores and they support a wide range of different organisms. As well as providing homes for many animals, rocky shores are a productive food source and important nursery area for many fish and crustacean species. This habitat also provides lots of food for fish. Seaweeds and rocks can break up the waves and create better shelter for organisms as opposed to sandy shores. So that was all about sandy and rocky shores. I hope you have enjoyed this quick video and learned something new. If you have, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and for more, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notification to learn more about habitats and fascinating creatures that live within them. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram too. See you in the next one. Cheers.